Hi, I'd like to invite you to watch the instructional video for the experiment titled When Does Hydrogen Peroxide Produce Bubbles? For the experiment, we will need three vessels including two labeled 1 and 2, a pot, yeast, and for the experiment itself, two pasture pipettes, hydrogen peroxide, and two test tubes also labeled 1 and 2. We also need a spoon, which we use to collect a little yeast. Which we then dissolve in a little water. Until we obtain a homogeneous mixture. Now that we have obtained a homogeneous mixture of yeast, we have to divide it into two halves. The first half is the yeast that will produce bubbles. Whilst the second half, number two, will not produce bubbles. However, the latter must first be heated in order to lose its ability to produce bubbles. To this end, I pour the mixture into the pot. Alternatively, the heating can also be done directly in the vessel by putting it into the microwave. As a rule, about 20 seconds of heating suffices. We pour the mixture into the vessel label 2, taking care because it is very hot. In this way, we have obtained yeast which produces bubbles and yeast which does not produce bubbles. Next, we introduce the mixture number 2 into test tube number 2 and mixture number 1 into test tube number 1 using a pipette. We use equal amounts in both cases, example 3 milliliters. And now I'm using pipetting mixture number 2 with the second pipette. After this, we check what effect addition of hydrogen peroxide has. As you can see, mixture number one rises very quickly. These bubbles are audible and visible. You can see that very clearly. However, as you can see, mixture number two does not show any changes at all. 